Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Oh, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you're all doing well. I've been through a really rough night. It's been thundering and lightning all night. I did get some sleep, but I just kept waking up. And anyway, it was kind of a rough night. It's going to be a rough day. I'm supposed to get this all day. So, well, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you're all doing well. This morning in the Revised Common Lectionary, check the description in the video for links and helpful stuff. So anyway, uh, this morning in the Revised Common Lectionary, we're going to start off with Psalm 115, and then we're going to Ezra. Hadn't been there in a while, and then we're going to a reading in the Gospel of John. So let's see what the Lord has to say today. And once again, I don't know why it always uh, flips me back to the uh, New International Version. Nothing wrong with the New International Version. I just prefer the English Standard Version. All right, here we go. All right, Psalm 115. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak eyes but do not see they have ears but do not hear noses but do not smell they have hands but do not feel feet but do not walk and they do not make a sound in their throat those who make them become like them so do all who trust in them O Israel trust in the Lord he is their help and their shield O house of Aaron trust in the Lord he is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. Oh, excuse me. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, you who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the children of man. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. Get a little bit more coffee. I'm using my disciple mug this morning. That's one of my designs on there. Oh. Also have that in a t-shirt. Love it. Okay, the Old Testament lesson this morning is Ezra chapter 9 verses 5 through 15. And at the evening, evening sacrifice I rose from my fasting with my garment and my cloak torn and fell upon my knees, and spread out my hands to the Lord my God, saying, O oh my God, I am ashamed, and blush to lift my face to you, my God, for our iniquities have risen higher than our heads, and our guilt has mounted up to the heavens. From the days of our fathers to this day we have been in great guilt, and for our iniquities we, our kings and our priests, have been given into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, to plundering, and to utter shame, as it is today. But now, for a brief moment, favor has been shown by the Lord our God, to leave us a remnant, and to give us a secure hold within the, His holy place, 
that our God may brighten our eyes and grant us a little reviving in our slavery. For we are slaves, yet our God has not forsaken us in, in our slavery, but has extended to us his steadfast love before the kings of Persia to grant us some reviving, to set up the house of our God, to repair its ruins, and to give us protection in Judea and Jerusalem. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken our commandments, which you commanded by your servants the prophets, saying, The land that you are entering, to take possession of it, is a land impure with impurities of the peoples of the lands, with their abominations that have filled it from end to end with their uncleanness. Therefore do not give your daughters to their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons, and never seek their peace or prosperity, that you may be strong and eat the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance for your, to your children forever. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great guilt, seeing that you, our God, have punished us less than our iniquities deserved, and has given us such a remnant as this, shall we break our commandments again and intermarry with the peoples who practice these abominations. Would you not be angry with us until you have consumed us, so that there should be no remnant, nor any to escape? O Lord, the God of Israel, you are just, for we are left a remnant that has escaped, as it is today. Behold, we are before you in our guilt. For none can stand before you because of this. Mm. All right, the New Testament. The Gospel text according to St. John, chapter 16, verses 16 through 24. So here we go. A little while, and you will see me no longer. And again, a little while, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What is this that he says to us? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they were saying, What does he mean by a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Is this what you are asking yourselves? What I meant by saying, A little while you will not see me, and again a little while you will see me? Truly, truly, I say to you, You will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. In that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of my Father in my name, he will give it to you. Now, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. This is the word of the Lord. All right, we go to the Pray Now app. And let's read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. O, o King, who comes in the name of the Lord, through your birth and death, earth and heaven were joined together in peace. May your coming as king into Jerusalem in humility on the donkey help us to see that you continue to come to us as our king, hidden in humble water, humble words, humble food. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there if you're in all these storms. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.